Death is a saint. They embrace her. اهلا بيكم في فيديو جديد على قناه عرب هارد وير احنا دلوقتي في فرنسا او بالتحديد في باريس وزي ما شايفين الجو برد جدا وانا مش قادر الصراحه يعني لابس كل حاجه عندي فوق بس فعلا الجو برد جدا احنا موجودين هنا عشان نغطي ايفنت بتاع يوبي سوفت بخصوص لانشنج لعبه جوست ريكون وايلد لاندز واحنا من خلال الايفنت ده قدرنا ان احنا نلعب اللعبه لمده اربع ساعات ونجرب الابديتس والفيتشرز الجديده اللي هم زودوها من سايت اي 3 وقدرنا كمان نقعد مع اثنين من الديفلوبرز كلمنا معاهم شويه عن اللعبه وعن التعريب وعن الحاجات اللي زودوها في اللعبه فقدرنا نجيب شويه معلومات حلوه جدا فما تنسوش لو عايزين تتفرجوا على اكسكلوسيف جيم بلاي لجوست ريكن وايلد لاندز اعملوا سبسكرايب لعرب هارد وير ويلا بينا نخش على الانترفيو اهلا بكم فيديو جديد على قناه عرب هارد وير زي ما انتم عارفين احنا في ايفنت في باريس يوبي سوفت عامله انفيتيشن في ايفنت بخصوص لانشنج جيم جوست ريكن وايلد لاندز واحنا جالنا الفرصه ان احنا نعمل انترفيو مع مستر جون مارك اند مستر بنوا مارتينيز جون مارك از ذا كرييتيف دايركتور او مخرج الابداعي ومستر بنوا از ذا مخرج تقني او اللي هو تكنيكال دايركتور سو هاي جايز هاو ار يو هاو دي جوينج We both know you need them Just stuck in the middle Of all irrelevance And your heart is beating Cause you know that you gotta Get out of the middle Get master the time now so We're really, we're really happy uh, Enjoying this event a lot and I personally like the game a lot And uh, we have some a couple of questions As a console player I tried the game on the PS4 mm -hmm. and and uh, what came to my mind is that you guys are really focusing on the graphics and detailed graphics and like uh, destructible environments and mm -hmm. stuff like that so can you talk briefly about the graphics and some uh, some simple details that could change the, the whole gameplay What well, I have to say about that is that it all starts with good reference it all started when we went to Bolivia to study the country take a lot of photographs, a lot of pictures, a lot of reference, talk to people take photographs of the landscape, but also of the small detail, like in this setup today, mm -hmm. went to the market, take every every object, every car, every every stuff in picture, came back, gather all the reference and start to model all so the That's how you turn the, the real Bolivia yep. into a digital yes. one. It's you from, actually it's went there. to consider the yes. picture from the highest mountain to the smallest detail. And the, um, what we wanted for this game is to have an amazing level of detail from the smallest rock, the smallest blade of grass mm. to the highest mountain and to be able to go from there to there to the mountain to the rock yeah. seamlessly. Mm. So uh, just drive any vehicle, what, wherever you can see, you can go. And when it comes to detail, to recreate the camp, the settlements and everything, yes, it was important. Did, did, did you guys talk uh, to people who are living there? Oh yeah, of course. Yes. Did you have some interviews with them? Yeah. Yep. About their traditions about or uh, tradition, how their uh, the daily lives are going? Uh, the Bolivian people, but also the people who work for, I don't know, security or anything to have a kind of big scope over all the country and all the diversity. Actually, in, uh, in the game, for example, you have um, what we call legend, which are yeah. a place that are really a, a cultural place, um, a historical iconic. place, and iconic, and you can find documents that talk about the Bolivia and uh, the culture and talk about uh, uh, the history of Bolivia, because it's a very strong history. So very that's actually real facts yeah, in the real game. Fact. And yeah, you can find that it's not uh, really um, part of the story itself, but mm. it's, it's, it's a way to, to um, feed uh, all your journey. So to get knowledge yeah, when exactly. you're playing. Yeah. And, and it's cool because uh, it's important for this kind of, of game to be um, as accurate as you can in, in terms of uh, visual, but not only in terms of culture. Mm -hmm. it's because uh, it's a way for the player to, you know, to, 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 to find something, yeah. to see something new. That's, that's, that's really something true. Yeah. yeah. What's interesting is uh, everything is interesting. The word journey uh, was very, very important for us to engage the player to travel through this world, mm. to discover all the biome, all the eleven different environments you have to get for the game. That's really awesome. And we were just wondering how, how did you guys really turn this true place into a digital one. Yes, that, that's really you know, at start, uh, there's, um, you know, you have two two legs, you know, you need two legs to, to walk. So you, we have all the references and all the technical parts and uh, 
Benoit and the, the team there worked a lot at start just on the engine side, mm -hmm. how to generate this world. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of um, research and development. There's several years of just research and development. Because uh, the way we, we create the world is uh, pretty complex. Yeah, and, uh, you, need, you need the right team. You need to find the right people to create a game like that. Because the end of games, they are so, so you guys honestly did, did a really good job. Uh, and you need to give them the right tools. Right. So we work So the, the engine is very powerful. Yeah. Speaking of the engine, uh, while playing the game uh, and while you guys giving the presentation, we noticed we noticed that you, uh, you you you're using dynamic weather a lot in the game. Yes. Yeah. Does it really affect the gameplay when Alors, when, for example, it's raining uh, and snowy? Yeah. We, what is the thing? What can affect the gameplay is uh, the detection because when uh, when the um, um, the light is not enough for AI, they will see, of course, uh, in a shorter distance, and it's really uh, in the in the code itself. Even uh, even the shadow uh, when you are in the shadow, the distance to see you is uh, is really shorter for the AI. Mm. For you know because you have your, eyes, your own eyes, eyes, but the AI will really react. And by night, of course, they will uh, see in, by, like in the night, so not that far. Especially because you are a ghost and you are, you are so trained to, yes. to to not make noise, etc. Yeah. There's a lot of breakable elements, but all the light, if you notice, are breakable, so you can shoot the light, turn off the generator. Yeah. Uh, if you go at night or during the really bad weather, it's going to help you. I noticed when I was uh, playing with a sniper mm -hmm. and uh, the sun was facing me, yeah. when I tried to aim, I couldn't see anything I, because uh, the sun was, was, <laughs> was blocking my view. Yeah. Uh, another uh, question uh, was regarding uh, how will you guys uh, keep on, on making the players playing the game for like one more year. Do you have any upcoming DLCs or like uh, updates or classified we, we, info? Stay tuned. <laughs> well, stay tuned. We, we, we will talk about that in, um, in the coming uh, weeks, but yes, we have a plan, okay. of course, to deliver more content and to to be sure that we, um, we um, have active players. Ask and, uh, active players mm. and also listen to the players for all kind of uh, demand or issues they so, will face. So, so we'll continue. So how did you guys get feedback? From Twitter or from you have a forum Alors, on your yes, website. Yes, you have Twitter and, and mm -hmm. all the community. Um, we have community management, so mm -hmm. we have guys that are really um, talking with uh, with the players. Uh, I mean, really, we have some what we call star players, which is um, Ubisoft uh, things, and those guys are. We see them on yeah. a regular basis, so, so the they can give us uh, the feedback. Uh, feedback, yes. But but you know, mainly by uh, all, all the site, uh, the site, or Ubisoft site, they. They chat and they give us a lot of, lot of, lot of uh, useful feedback that you can use to improve your game. Okay. Lastly, uh, we we noticed that Ubisoft is is like taking care of uh, the Middle East, like localizing mm -hmm. some games like the Division. Uh, can you talk about the localization of Ghost Recon? Uh, um, it's uh, fully localized. I mean, all the, um, the writing and stuff is fully localized, mm -hmm. and it's pretty um, beautiful because <laughs> the Arabic. Uh, uh, it's, it's very beautiful. I mean, it's, it's really uh, it's very graphic. gra graphically speaking, it's, it's, it's beautiful. I, I can't read it, but uh, at least uh, so all the game is localized. I, I mean, uh, uh, menu, uh, but subtitle. It's so uh, we work so much on this game that so we want as many players as we can shoot. So, uh, so, so you guys yeah. have a, have a, like a big uh, fan base in the Middle East, like a huge I, I, number I, of players. I, I, honestly, I, I don't know. I, I, I yeah. can't answer that. But I. But we try to, <laughs> and, uh, and with that, with that game, we'll, we'll uh, push more to have uh, more guys in the Middle East, for sure. Uh, today, I don't know. Uh, honestly, uh, we need to see that with the committee manager, they know, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, well, well, I can tell you, I'm Arabic and I really love this game. <laughs> Thank you. When Thank it you comes to uh, localization, yeah. it, it really gives uh, another uh, taste for the game. Yes, of course. It's important to, 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 to have all the stuff read, uh, yeah, yeah, written yeah. in, the, the because game. You, you need to have uh, information and it's, it's better when it's your own language. Mm -hmm. Even for us in French, it's better to play in French <laughs> than English. <laughs> no, because no, you, because you, you can read faster, so you can understand faster, and you can react faster. So it's a, and the game is sometimes challenging, so it's better it's to have really, the right information. Really <laughs> okay, I think uh, that's about it. You guys did, did an amazing job in this game, I must tell you. So thank you. Thank very you. Much.
فده كان الانترفيو مع الاثنين ديفلوبرز مع المخرج الابداعي والمخرج التقني بتاع اللعبه ما تنسوش لو عندكم اي اسئله بخصوص اللعبه سيبوها تحت في الكومنتس وتابعونا الفتره الجايه عشان هننزل فيديوهات كتير جدا عن اللعبه من ناحيه جيم بلايز سولو جيم بلايز وكو اوف جيم بلايز مع يوتيوبرز ثانيين فاعملوا سبسكرايب على هارد وعايزين تتابعوا كل الكلام ده ونشوفكم فيديو جديد ان شاء الله يا جدعان وسلام عليكم